So we've got a number of Viking towers down at the coal field. Fairly high structures, but not very complicated. Still lattice frame. Um, so we've designed a felling technique for them. Before we carried out any work in the coal field area, which is adjacent to the River Air, we had to carry out an ecological survey to make sure there weren't any protected species or underlying issues that we needed to make provisions for. The coal field it does flood in, in the rainy season, so we had to make sure that the ground conditions were suitable to bring an excavator across and we had to make sure that there was no deep water which could obviously put our guys and the job at risk. You know, one of the major things we're looking at is driver distraction. They're very, very close. They can be seen from the A1. And we've noticed that there's uh, little or no traffic on the A1 at the moment. So we decided to come in early one Saturday morning once all the prep work was done and uh, pull them over when it was no need for back leg closures or anything like that. The technique is that cut the back legs so far through, put the shims in, go to the front, cut the legs, then go to the back legs again and finish cutting them. It's the risk is the uh, sparks going on the floor, any debris, you know, paper or wood, oil, could have caught fire, so the fire engine's there, it's dumping it down. I was hosing down the sparks and there's dry grass around the area, so we had to wet the grass so it didn't catch fire. And at the end of the fire watch, we do an hour fire watch, to make sure there's no fires. Yeah, well, felling them was, uh, as I say, they're not complicated structures, pretty much lattice um, framework. So it's just knowing where to get your cuts high enough so you can rotate the um, structure over. Uh, pulling force is probably somewhere in the region of about one and a half tonnes. I had a 30, 40 tonne machine down here, so that was not an issue. We was a team of about six personnel, machine drivers, a telehandle driver, and a fire engine driver, a burner and fire watcher and supervisor. Bob, what we call piece small them, so we'll get them into suitable sizes to go away in the lorries. We'll prep that, get that in its correct waste stream or correct uh, recycling stream. And the light bulbs have to be removed, they'll go away as cosh items. Bob done a really good job down there. So. Good, it went very well. <laughs>